now. Let me just not press Y. Oh yeah, my um, if I tab to the truck, all of the eggs are still here. We didn't get these eggs. We didn't sell them, but they are still in the truck. I guess we just lost everything for like for the horses. I guess it just didn't count the uh, the riding that we did because it was before midnight. I don't know. It seems kind of shitty to be honest, but whatever. Sell these eggs again. Get sold. Get, get sold eggs. There you go. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Sure. Come on. Why don't you come? There we go. We. Oh my god. Why did I do that, you guys? Why did that have to happen? So if you press Y now, it'll quit. No, if I press Y when I'm on the menu, apparently it quits. Oh, okay. And I was looking at the menu because I was uh, switching the um, the time, the time skipping thing. Yeah, there's one button on keyboard to quit too. Probably just harder to accidentally do it on keyboard. Yeah. Y on this again. No, let me uh, check these. Oh, we didn't. I uh, didn't keep the uh, the chicken purchases. Let me go buy some more chickens. Chicken chaser. Did you lose money? No, I don't think we lost any money. So, viewer, should we feed horse meat to the chickens or chickens to the horses? What the hell? Has to be one or the other. What is this happening? I'm getting. Ch I'm getting weird things with this chicken dialogue. It's like resetting every couple of seconds. Yeah, giant nerd guy says horse meat to the horses. That's a good idea. We never discussed the possibility of horse to horse. That could be a popular product. Where 
That's how you get COVID-20. What? We're not feeding them bats. Maybe you're feeding them to themselves. Isn't there like a specific cannibalism disease like prions or something? I don't know, to be honest. The good thing about horse horse is every generation becomes more horsed. It's like exponentially increasing their genetics are horsedness are are fully horsed by like the uh, fourth or fifth generation it's not just the genetics it's also just the diet because the first generation you're just feeding horse to other horses, but the second generation you're feeding horse to horse to horses. And then you're feeding horse to horse... Horse to horses. What if we start feeding horse chickens to, to chickens? Or horse chickens to horse chickens? Then you just add continual layers of flavor. <laughs> is that what our is that what our uh, slogan is going to be? Layers of flavor, Con continual layers of flavor. One thousand times folded. Uh, flavor layers. <laughs> so. Like a katana, but with horses. So what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, some horses being fed to other horses. And then we're also going to feed those horses to other horses. So it'll be horse horses being sold or being fed to horse horses who are in turn being fed to horse horses. And then uh, some of like those horse, 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 horses. And then some of those we will also feed to the chickens. To get horse, 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 chickens. Chicken. Which we'll then feed back into the horse loop. <laughs> so, we'll, so we'll have horse, chickened, horse, chickens, eventually. Well, not unless we feed horse. Yeah. But what's Money our end product? by the FDA. <laughs> Wait, what is our end product, Greg? What 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 is the goal? Where do you see this ending, other than in in misery and disgust? Well, the, the farther we go, the better the flavor. Yeah, is my understanding. Okay. It's kind of like McElhenney Company deciding how many years to age their reserve Tabasco sauce. Cause I mean they gotta they gotta stop it at some point, right? But I mean even aged yeah. stuff like has a limit because I mean, you know, people love aged wine, but like at some point the wine just turns to shit. Like you can't just drink like five hundred year old wine and expect it to taste good. Just because it's been sitting there for five hundred years. Well, as long as it doesn't turn into vinegar, it, it's still... I think the longer you age it, no matter how long, it's better, as long as it doesn't turn into vinegar. And I don't think there's, like, a specific cutoff time where it always turns to vinegar. It just becomes more likely over time, I think. I have to do all that work again. I have to feed the chickens. I have to feed the horses here. Actually, I don't. The horses I seem to be done. Or the, the seem to be well fed. It's just the chickens I need to feed. Hey, if I figured out who we could remove all the crimes against nature from this cycle, yeah. we just keep feeding the animals back and forth without having any actual cannibalism. So okay. if we have 
if we feed the chickens horse, then we have horse to chicken. And then if we feed the horses horse to chicken, then we're feeding horse back into the horses without making the horses eat horse. Is that not just like second degree cannibalism? Well, there's a big difference between second and first degree cannibalism. Warrior Princess. Tom. I've been riding ride. Liz Blood for way too long. <laughs> You've been too distracted by your uh Yeah. Plan by your oddly uh cannibalistic, second degree cannibalistic plan. Yeah, Liz Blood must be at like three hundred and fifty percent written <laughs> today. Giant nerd guy, I want some of that chocolate vanilla swirl ice cream now. Go get me some, please. Go get me some and send it to me. Make sure it's in a uh, like a cold pack, so that it, you know it's still frozen when it gets here. From uh, from Australia. Add some horsed chicken, horsed chicken, horse <laughs> syrup on it. Don't know that I want savory uh, syrup on my ice cream. Well, you'll never know until you try it. <laughs> I'd rather have just have some chocolate syrup, maybe some uh, caramel. That's that. That's it, really. About, I don't really need any other stuff. What about horse chicken, horse chocolate syrup? Now, how is that made? You have to make the horse chicken, horse chicken, horse, and then. You bury it under the cocoa plants. <laughs> I see. Then wouldn't you have to wait uh, decades for that to come to fruition? Not decades. A long ass time. You uh, you use the corpse in um, what's it called? Those piles of decaying stuff you use to plant stuff. Why can't I remember the word? Oh, the compost? compost. Yeah. You use uh, horse, chicken, horse, chicken, horse, compost. Would that really affect the flavor of it, though? Maybe. Would we, would we need to feed the horse chicken horse chicken uh like cocoa seeds cocoa beans to get that extra cocoa flavor in them actually yeah I, uh add cocoa to their diet and then you can puree their meat and and that's how you get the horse chicken horse chicken uh cocoa syrup yeah This farm is innovative, like no other <laughs> farm has ever been. We're really thinking outside the box here. Yeah. Hey, nerd guy, your country is epitomizing the uh, President of Madagascar meme. What? You never heard of a president of Madagascar? No. You know those, like, pandemic games? Mm-hmm. Where 
you always lose because Madagascar shuts down its port and it's the only way into the country, so they always survive. Sure, sure. Well, there's a meme where president, the president of Madagascar, whose name is President Madagascar, is told that someone sneezed in Brazil. And he says, shut down everything. I see. I've never seen that meme. I know I know the the thing with the uh with the pandemic game, but yeah. even though I've never played it. But then again I know the thing with uh Gandhi and Civilization. I never played that game. Yeah. We also need these two horses to be ridden uh, as well, Kyle. Uh, but they don't need to be ridden the full time. You can just ride them up to like 50% or so. I don't know so if like Giant Herd Guy would be happy to know that we're not riding him fully. <laughs> A bit air collision. That was like in Mission Impossible or whatever where they leap from motorcycles and collide with each other. That was the wackiest Mission Impossible movie and yet I still enjoyed it. That's actually the one that made me quit watching them. Really? Yeah. They don't I think we've talked about this before. They don't really do a lot of that stuff in the in the subsequent movies. That was that was definitely the most um the silliest of the movies, certainly. I'm not saying that the other movies are realistic because they're not really realistic. I mean, they, you know, they use the, the friggin' like super ultra real mask thing a lot still that they use in like the first movie. But, um, but like, you know, it, they're not as ridiculous as, as that one. Well, the motorcycle scene is what sticks out in my mind as the reason I quit watching those movies. I mean, the the director was like a a famous like wire foo like director, so yeah, he used a lot of that stuff, and it didn't it didn't quite fit. I'll, I'll I'll admit it was it was entertaining for me to watch, but it didn't really quite fit the uh, what the series is about. I would say give uh, give give number three a watch, and if you like it more, then start watching the other ones too. I have seen movies where they do that kind of silly stuff, and it didn't put me off because it made sense for those movies. Yeah, it was just too silly for Mission Impossible for me. Well, like I said, they don't really do that in the other ones, so yeah, give give three a shot. I don't even remember what Never happened mind. to three, but like it's not like I watched Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and was like, "This is silly." Yeah, I'm not gonna watch movies like this anymore. But it has to like make sense in the context of the film. Yeah. Uh, but I would say like all of the it's Mission Impossible have... movies are really good. Yeah, it's one thing to have magical face swapping technology as a spy yeah it's totally different to do the motorcycle thing all right let me go feed the chickens again standard guy are you happy knowing that we're only riding you half way every day I mean, he needs he needs his energy to ride uh, strawberry uh, for the rest of the day. So, yeah, John, your guy says he doesn't need to be ridden all the time. You want to be brushed. Oh yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't clean him. I think I might have not cleaned one of the other horses too. I don't remember? I always forget. I don't know why. Oh, 
all the horses are cleaned. Right. Except for Strawberry, who is still out. Strawberry also only needs to be ridden uh, halfway. I think Jander guy would prefer to do all the strawberry riding instead of having to share strawberry. You can speak for horse you. Yeah, you can speak for horse you. Why wouldn't you speak for horse you? He was named after you. You can speak for horse you. Horse you is you in horse form. Yeah, horse you is is alternate dimension uh, horse form you. This is this we're playing this in the dimension where uh, we're all farmers except you are the horse. You're done with strawberry, Kyle. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, stra uh, strawberry and giant nerd guy only have to be ridden a halfway because we don't need to increase their value. We just need to make sure that they don't lose value. Make sure she's clean, too. I got her. Because, you know, in the multiverse of, um, of infinite possibilities, there is a universe out there somewhere where uh, me and Lost Joke and Kyle and Craig are all uh, farmers together on a farm in Nevada. And um, you and uh, Lisplot and uh, uh, others are, in fact, uh, horses on our farm. It does exist. It's scientifically, it's scientifically plausible that such a dimension does, in fact, exist. How does it feel to be ridden 300%? Uh... How are we on animals? It's okay. Uh, that's fine. And these are all fine. Oh, some of the horses aren't clean. Lizblot is a filthy, filthy creature. Uh, Fabio is also not clean. And those are the only two. You just need to do that once a day. Yeah. They they only get dirty when you ride them. They're clean oh. for me. I'll have to come back and, and make sure it could be like a host disconnect thing. I might actually uh, I might actually make sure that the game is saved and actually restart the game because um, I was having weirdness with the um, chickens earlier. Yeah, I cleaned them all, so I see a hundred percent on this. I think I am going to restart the game uh, in a moment. I'll, I'll, I'll clean those guys first. And then I'm going to restart the game because, like I said, there's there's weirdness going on. You can hear my cat screaming at the moon in the living room. No. no. Can't hear nothing. Uh, here we go. Liz is clean. And then Fabio. 
Is this Fabio? No, this is Fabio. Fabio, also clean. Alright, let me save the game. Guys, I'm gonna restart the game, I think. I'm gonna actually save it this time. Save game. It's saving. The game is saved. Uh, I'm gonna restart, because, like I said, there's weird things happening. So, uh, you might want to exit, <laughs> or else you're gonna crash. And I'll let you know when it's back up. Sorry about this, this is all my fault for, uh, hitting the wrong button earlier. Okay. Quit fully to desktop, and then we'll start again. Uh, create game. Hold on. I don't want you guys to see my password. Uh, this. Select all. Continue. There's my password. And I'm starting up. And I'm in. Uh, everything's written exactly the way it should be. Great. It might be. It might be. So it might have been some kind of weird desync thing from quitting so suddenly and losing progress and stuff. Yeah. Save corrupted. <laughs> that would suck. That would be the end. That would be the end of Farm Sim. We have to go ahead and move on to another game if that happened. As soon as it hits 7 o'clock, I'll skip the night again. I've got someone, uh, I've got a guy, uh, harvesting. Whatever these are. What is this? What are we actually growing here? <laughs> oats. We're doing oats, right. And then we're doing, uh, soybeans and the other one. Uh, we're gonna need to lime. Probably both of the fields. So, who wants to uh, start going and getting some lime? I, I guess we need to do any of those. We need to rent the uh, the thing again, don't we? The limer. Just buy it. Yeah, I can just buy it. How much is it? 20, no, 39k. Yeah, we'll buy it. I'm just a tree guy. You just uh, play with your wood all day. Do you want any extension? Uh, so, by default, it holds 9,000 liters of lime. One extension for 250 bucks um, brings that up to 11,000. Or there is a fourteen thousand liter extension uh, for seven fifty. Do we need Why extensions? Not? Okay. Full full extension. Sure. Uh, I don't think that we want narrow tires for this. I think regular tires are fine. We're never going to use it on a, on on crops directly. I don't think. Uh. Oh my god, if we want to pay uh, $8,000 for 
for a total, this is a total of 47,750, uh, we can get a 6 meter spreading unit on the back, which I think spreads it uh, more. It, it takes it from a 12 meter spread to an 18 meter spread. Do we want that? Do we want another 6 meters for $8,000? Sure. My, my god. Fortunately, we can't change the color of this, actually. Is there, like, a different one? No, there's not. I was going to say, is there a different one that I can actually pick a color? But no, there's not. Alright. Uh, bye. Yes. Alright. Are you taking care of that, Craig? Of what? The lime. Well, you can see what I'm doing. Why are you doing this? You can use the new, uh, you can use the new tractor for that. You want to? Here, let me, let me, sure. you're gonna, you're gonna need the, uh, the arm here. Let me just get rid of the arm. There we go. See if you can, uh, Great attach thing. that. Yeah, oops. You can attach the the arm, because I mean you're gonna need that because you need the uh, the bucket to get the lime from the mine. That's how we're just gonna start buying lime. Nah, it kind of takes forever to collect it. I might be able to get you, like, a bigger bucket. Let me see if I can get you a bigger bucket. Might be good. Uh, that one is 940. Well, none of those are it. Uh... There's one that's... 2800 I'm not sure that I can do that though here let me see what the uh what is this it's getting late oh yeah let me switch let me skip the night skipping the night I'm stuck on the map. Just uh, tab to another vehicle. You mean teleport? Yeah, use your teleportation powers. We all have them. <laughs> There's also a universe where, where teleportation powers are indeed a thing. Very simulating. Uh, I don't think we can use any of these. In fact, uh, I'm not sure that we can actually, um... There's a flat, too. What's that? <laughs> There's a flat. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. The Never Earth mind. is flat. Oh. Yes, the Earth is flat. In this dimension. I am back. I have, I have, they have successfully tracked me down. That's why I was gone for so long. <laughs> Who has successfully tracked you down? A friend of mine. Oh. It was an unexpected visit. Oh, okay. Uh, he Craig... was passing, he was passing by, noticed where he was, and decided to stop, uh, stop by, and that's where I was. I see Craig, I'm sorry, but uh, it turns out that I can't actually get you a bigger um, bucket for that. What if we buy, like, a front loader or something? I was thinking about buying a telehandler. Incoming. But, um, we have to save up a little bit for that. I mean, we, we could theoretically maybe afford it. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
we'd have to wait until the next time we sell um, horses, and then we could afford it. All right. What's happening? Lost Joke is joining. This is what happens when someone joins. Oh, okay. Yeah, China, okay, we aren't, uh, we aren't pandemic Madagascar here. All right, the, uh, the lime thing, the spreader should be waiting for you. Okay. Lost yeah, Oak, what are you going to do? State and people don't even wear masks in restaurants anymore. Hmm. I see my loading arm has been stolen. Do you want me to buy another one? They're not expensive. I'll buy another one for you if you want. Well, yeah, I need that in order to do uh, transport contracts. Uh, what is the one that we have? FZ30. I need it in order to pick up lime, so... What color do you want it, Lost Oak? Let's make it another color. The one we have now is green, but what color do you want it? White. White? Really? Okay. Well, it's going to be on this tractor, and this tractor only comes in two colors, white and mm -hmm. red. Okay. So you don't want it to be white or red? Uh, White. Okay. All right. It's there. You're going to have to go to the store to get it, though. So yes, I had an unexpected visit from someone that I haven't seen in maybe five years. Uh, Lost Oak, you have not felt since. I'm also gonna get you a weight. Uh, what color do you want the weight? Uh, red. There you go. The wait is waiting for you, also at the store. Uh, also, it is, uh, once again, horse time, when people would like to um, do horses. It's basically just me and... Busy. Yeah, it's basically just me and Kyle, I think. I don't have a contract wood. going, so I can go up there. Okay. I just need to get things. <laughs> Kyle, stop playing with your wood and, and come play with the horses. I gotta calibrate this particular horse. I went to get my hair cut a couple of weeks ago, and, um, the, you know, I looked it up, I looked up, make sure the, the place was open and, and, and stuff, and, of course, they had, you know, please, you know, please wear a mask when you, when you come into the, the store or whatever, and, of, or, you know, of course, of course I will. And so I went in there, and, of course, I had my mask on. Uh, I was the only person there to have a mask on. The only person. None of the employees, none of the other people who were there to get their hair cut. Nobody else had a mask on. Trust me. That's how it goes. I went to Wendy's and I was the only, uh, excluding the workers, I was the only customer there that had a mask on. Man, I haven't had Wendy's in a while. So I would usually go like at night. I would usually go at like you know, twelve o'clock in the in the morning, you know, midnight. And uh, and get me some late night Wendy's and they're just not open that late. Buddies anymore. of mine would always ask, "Why do you only we only ever see you at night?" And I say, "Because it's too damn hot to go out during the day." <laughs> Apparently, that imagine. exacerbates the fact that I am, as they see it, very hard to pin down. Mm. It's like it, I'm not hard to pin down. You know where exactly where I am. 
Yeah, but you get yourself all oiled up. <laughs> yeah, why do you That's why do you oil yourself up just to go to Wendy's? I don't understand. It's not oil that sweat. It's sweaty oil. If your sweat is that oily, you might want to see a doctor. It's too much Wendy's, is why. We've had so many storms coming through, it's been like consistently humid. I am miserable. Now put your wood down. Put your wood down and, and start riding a horse. Crash the car, dude. <laughs> I saw you crash the car. Good things our our fences are amazingly resilient. Yeah, this is like GTA where you can blow through trees, but you know a lamp post will stop you completely. Is that the other way around? Other way around. Blow through big concrete lampposts, but uh, that bush in the in the center median will uh, stop you in your tracks. The horses in Red Dead are way better than these. Yeah, but I mean, horses are like a major part of that game. Horses they in this are game are like an afterthought. Or afterthought. Me, me, yay, me. Or wait, no, wait, no, it's I, I. The eyes have it. Wilbur, why don't you ever ride me, Wilbur? First off, my name is not Wilbur. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, as soon as Garrus is done, I'm gonna switch to the, um, harvester and empty it out and I'll come back. There needs to be a mod to, like, put the uh, horse percentage right up on the screen instead of me having to look at the menu constantly. Yeah. Ninety-nine. Come on. Come on, a hundred. There we go. Let me also clean, clean Garrus up. Are you Garrus? I can't tell. Sometimes the like the the lighting in this game is is weird. It's actually modded lighting slightly, but it's just weird. You're modded lighting. Thank you. Why does my horse keep teleporting away from me? That's just the way it does. It's because the where the horses are when you put them away is not necessarily where you got off of them. They just teleport to like a random predetermined place. Because this game's weird and jank like that. saw on a board and a nail and I saw it. What the horse? No. It's me <laughs> saying the lyrics to that song from Red Dead, but without actually singing them. Mm -hmm. 
I listen to that song on loop every time uh, restoration happened in Yishgar 14. <laughs> Now we don't have to do that no more. You still can though. Well, the the fates there still happen. I think it was so successful that do something similar again. Yeah. Liz, I'm on you. I'm ready, you Liz. <laughs> An Alamigo restoration. Oh God. <laughs> People are like, let's do a Garlemald restoration. I'm like, no. no Whoa, why? Him. Maybe we can get Alamigo as an actual city. We can wish. <laughs> the devs don't give a shit about Alamigo. Man, they forgot so... Everyone forgot about Alamigo so hard I, I the moment, the, the moment Samurai <laughs> came out. They built it up so much, and it's like, oh yeah, uh, I guess we should put this in, maybe. Well, let's do, let's do, let's do Japanese stuff first. Let's do Fantasy Sword Japan. Blood was China. fine, but out of all the expansions, was the weakest. I feel. I also feel that. Not saying it's terrible; it was just weaker. The problem lies in the fact that they split the story. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even talk about it, it just makes me angry. <laughs> it makes you that angry, really? <laughs> yeah. You sure you're not thinking about WoW? No, I didn't give a shit about WoW. Yeah. Like, even less now. Because fuck them, that's why. Yeah, I've been on the... Fuck a wild train for a long time. I haven't played WoW like remotely seriously since mid Draenor. I think I stopped playing WoW and then I started playing Final Fantasy on 2.1. And that's literally the last time I ever played it. Around the time of Draenor, I was kind of like looking into other MMOs to play. Um, what did it? What was it? I know for a while, for like a year, I kicked around in Guild Wars 2 for a bit. Would you want to play Guild Wars 2 again, Lost Joke? I don't know, maybe. I mean, I had fun during the World vs. World matches, but like. Uh, I'm not really big on the living story because unless you're keeping up with it, you kind of miss it. Mm -hmm. I know for a while they did. Well, you can go back and do old living story chapters and like go through those quest lines, but there's certain events you can't relive like a. Not that I want to, but you can't relive the sacking of Lion's Arch. That was like yeah. an active event. You, I participated wasn't in that, but <laughs> that's not something you know you can re-experience because it's done. I mean, not it wasn't that great I say in the first place. Should. It, it wasn't it, great in the no, first place. It was, it was a laggy mess. Like it was, it was pretty terrible. It like was, it could have been interesting, but it was a laggy mess. It was, it was really it was, bad to play. Well, the thing about it is, anything to do with Briar, I don't like because it was someone's like power fantasy. Yeah. You know, she went to all of the the technological schools for Asura. She 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 mastered all three colleges. Uh everybody knows her. She was super strong, super smart. It was just like it was someone's power fantasy that we were having to deal with. So, anything to do with that character I didn't like. And uh, w with what's going on in 14, I'm getting like, like flashbacks of all of that because of uh, the current story going on. What? In 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 how how so? Um, when there was a lot of build up 
for Briar. I think her name was a Briar Road. No, Briar Thorn. Yeah. Anyway, the when there was a lot of build up for her, randomly out of nowhere, like cut building up to like a next major living story chapter. Uh, these towers started showing up in random places in the game's world. Now, they weren't like in a distant area where you couldn't get to. They were actually just random places in the, the overworld. And if you interacted with them, you got a dialogue box that said, do not touch. And if you touched, it uh, damaged you and knocked you back. And then it g came up again with, what did I just say? <laughs> So the uh, so the fact that uh, in 14 has these towers popping up, granted, we can't interact with them just popping up out of nowhere. I'm just getting like, man, I'm getting these vibes from Guild Wars 2 and I get people saying, don't say that you're going to curse us. I know, but I mean, I don't know if, if Final Fantasy 14 has any real like terrible. Um power fantasy characters not yeah really. no 14 is a little bit better written than guild wars 2 which is funny because guild wars 2 was touted as the story mmo before final fantasy 14 came out see that's the thing though the reason why it was that way is that up until level 30 it was a story about you and you affected how the story branched out but it was a reverse tree instead of like starting on a path and branching out you had all of these different branches until you worked down to a single path and you weren't the main character anymore that's when a lot of people stopped paying it uh stopped then, caring uh, really treebeard became the main character for a while Traherne. His name is Treebeard. He did not have a beard. In fact, he was kind of twinkish. Yeah. Even though he had like a he had like a a deep like old guy's voice, didn't he? Uh, yes, I think so. It's been forever since I played that game, but I mean, I've talked about it before. You know, the, when I stopped was around when uh, when that whole thing, the the big crab battle and all that stuff. That was kind of when I started losing interest. And then I just I continue to not have interest. I had a lot of fun with various things in Guild Wars 2. The story wasn't really one of them. I continue to not have interest um, because I feel like it's just um, they don't do as much as they could with the game. No, not anymore. Like, even back then, even when the game was new and there was a lot of potential, uh, they could have gone anywhere with it. And they didn't go anywhere with it. Like, nothing happened. Like, if someone asked me, should I play Guild Wars 2, I wouldn't say no. I would say no. Because, but... <laughs> because well, one, it, you know, uh, really, I don't think Guild Wars 2 is bad. It certainly handles certain a lot of things poorly. But if... But I don't want to, like, dissuade people from it. It is certainly something I think worth for people to experience. Maybe, like, but I, I don't know. I will admit, I liked the World vs. World and some of the PvP. It is one of the few, like, MMOs where I can say, I didn't mind the PvP. And this is coming from a person who doesn't like PvP at all. There are a lot of games that I would recommend before I would recommend Guild Wars 2. One of my favorite moments in Guild Wars 2, specifically with the World vs. World, is uh, I don't remember which worlds were in participation. It doesn't necessarily matter. What matters is uh, in one of the maps that you can join to, the setup is uh, whoever controls the um, the major controls forts the on the map. Yeah. controls the central fort in the map so that pretty much like determines who gets to spawn in the middle and who doesn't get to spawn in the middle it's like an advantage thing isn't that like the main so, like default world v world map i think it's the main one it's the it's certainly the biggest there are a few different map or at least two no three there's three different maps but uh the the regular one which i think is a mostly ongoing one anyway 
Don't forget Strawberry and Giant Nerd Guy. You gotta get them too. Oh. Halfway. Um, Halfway up. So... We were losing control of the control of the map. Yeah, we were slowly losing our fort. Wait, how are we both riding the same horse? Who am I on? I think... I don't know. Just Kyle is... Them. Did we just are. clone the... We, <laughs> yes. we cloned nine nerd jerk, <laughs> yes, not giant nerd guy. <laughs> yes, you did. Wait a minute. What happens when you get off of your horse? <laughs> Wait, Wait a minute. Did we break the game? <laughs> Why are um, there two of them? I still only see the two horses in there. I in see. The, I, I I see I see three horses, but in the in the menu I only see two horses. One of those horses is a ghost horse. They are both named Giant Nerd. Take one out and start riding it, and see if the um percentage starts going up. Yeah, percentage is going up for Giant Nerd Guy right now. Giant Nerd Horse. Giant Nerd Clone. <laughs> this is really weird. Um, but, yeah, can back to my thing. Can you increase the percentage twice as fast by riding both clones at the same time? That's a good question. But, back to my thing. We were losing territory, right? We're sure. slowly losing the major forts we had, and it came down to one last one before we lost control of the entire map wow. entirely. Yes. The answer is yes, by the way. <laughs> the answer is yes. They are going up a lot faster than they than they would otherwise. Well, can we replicate it? Yeah, you'd have to do it with the uh, strawberry. Let me put strawberry back in the uh, in the pen. Do it after you're done with Giant Nerd Guy, though. Giant Nerd Horse. And remember, you only have to do Giant Nerd Horse up uh, halfway. But now here's a question. Can we sell them? The clones. No, because if I look in the menu, I still only see the two horses. I still only see Strawberry and one giant nerd horse. I do not see two of them. I'm gonna go clean the chickens. Oh my god, Horse Giant Nerd is back in the stable. I got that four times. Five times. I got that a bunch of times. Were you able to, uh, yeah. Try, uh... Alright, I think we interact- just happened to time our interaction with the horse at the same time, so go to where <laughs> Strawberry it. is. Alright, ready? Yeah. One, three. two, three. Whoa. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, bye. Well, what happened? Yeah, I know, giant nerd horse. I know it's it's weird. It's weird that happened. <laughs> They're gone. They're in the atmosphere now. <laughs> what happens if you get still off? Going up. Okay. Yeah, we're what still going up. What happens if you get off? We'll probably just teleport down, maybe. Hey, did you Strawberry, guys know there's a you. river surrounding the map? Yeah, I think we might have known that. Known that. I'm still getting notifications that Giant Nerd is back in the stable, by the way. It's a constant stream of Giant Nerd is back in the stable notifications. Oh, okay, we hit... Now. Yeah, we hit the ceiling. Let's... Uh, and we do, in fact, have two strawberries. They are there. I'm gonna you have to restart out, this uh, game again. You can check out the new limer. It's being... It's being used right now by a helper. Alright. 
I will, but <laughs> this is this is too this is too much. Look at the screenshots on the stream chat. Let me um let me show let me show one of them on here. And when Kyle says stream chat, he means on the Merg Discord. Yes, in my Discord. In it. If you would like to join my Discord, uh, <laughs> please do. Oh, I need um. Maybe this is what I need. Properties. I need this one. Okay, and then. We saw many things. This is. This is uh. What's happening? Wow. We have returned to normalcy. Wow. I'm really curious if you tried to sell one, like, strawberry or nerd, or giant nerd horse, if they would still stay in your, like, inventory. Because we have two to, of each. Uh, I don't want to... No, how about this? To. Let's see if we can do it in the, the normal corral, not the breeding corral. Alright. Who are you going to do it to? Who's going to be the guinea pig? Well, I'm, I'm trying to get strawberry to 50%, so... Alright. Well, let's do Liz Blunt. Alright, All right, so you guys are going to have to go to wherever the horse is on your on your end, because they, they're in different places for us. Let me... Let me save the game real quick, <laughs> just in case. We're, 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 this is science. All right, so go to the same horse wherever they are, and I'll count right. you in. Are you guys ready? I am ready. We we ride on what? On zero? When I three when I say three, hit uh, E. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. I'm in. Was I too fast? I have a black screen. <laughs> Just don't move. Oh, I moved a little bit. Still I wonder if it's, it, it's not going to work for me because I'm the host, so I have, like, no lag. I think it would be better for you guys to do it and not me. All right, give me a second. I am... Now I can see... I just have a view of the horse pen, and I can't do anything. I see Merg. <laughs> can you get? Can you tab to another vehicle? No, it's like I'm not even a player anymore. It's <laughs> like I'm just a, I'm just a camera. <laughs> We're breaking this game. It's so like badly. I've, I've become the horse, but I can't control the horse. You're you're gonna probably have to uh, leave and come back. I can't even open the menu. Uh, this is when, uh, Alt F4 will, will help you. Yeah. Alright, let's, alright, let's, you and me, Merg, let's try it. Let's get on, who's this gray horse? Well, it shouldn't be Merg, because he's the host. Well, I want to see if we can recreate what happened to you. Alright. Alright. Let's go with, uh, let's okay, the gray again. horse is, I want the gray horse to stop moving. The gray horse has a name. It's Liz. Okay. Liz All right. Ready? Okay. Yep. One, two, three. Did it happen? I think it happened. No, it, the horse teleported. All right. Try again. Try again. One, two, three. Hmm. Um. How about you? Oh no. Uh, how about you? Uh, you do it on. Uh, like right when you say three, like one, two, and then and then you you know you press the button, and then I will wait for like half a second longer. All right. You got a list yep. Oh yeah. One, two, three. 
Nope. I think because you're host, it's prioritizing yeah, you. That's what I that's what I was saying. I think you and you and Craig have to do it. Like I couldn't even get the black screen to happen. Where is Craig? Because I'm I'm hammering E, but it doesn't seem to happen. So I have like a delay. If we somehow manage to discover some sort of exploit, we're gonna have a lot of money, assuming the next stage works. You guys didn't clean these horses. What the hell? You guys didn't clean our newly cloned horses. I tried. Nothing happened. We're gonna like I didn't, I didn't get the sound effect of me brushing them. Might be another host thing. Maybe. All right, they're all clean anyway. Where is Craig? Craig, where are you at? Finishing liming. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go uh, clean the chickens real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll do another another experiment. Okay. All right, I'm gonna need a minute. I'm gonna need a minute. What the hell? What about science? one of these fields still yeah field four I think needs to be harvested so uh well I guess we'll we're waiting for uh Craig or er, lost joke the empty the harvester so. is still full of the last one it is it is that's okay I'll grab the trailer and we can empty it out. Oh, I'm just emptying it out right here. Oh, okay. Plenty of oats for our wonderful cloned chicken horses. Did you... We haven't limed this other field, though, have we? Because it hasn't been uh, harvested yet. No. Okay. Hi. This is kinky. Wee! <laughs> 